Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bing Easy here, and today I am bringing you an insane 50k hybrid squad builder. Now, a few weeks ago, I challenged myself to create the best 75k hybrid. Well, the best value for coins, and it came out of being 75,000 coins. But I wanted to challenge myself even more. I wanted to build a 50k hybrid that you guys could go and try because I'm sure you've got 50,000 coins at this stage in FIFA, and you guys could go and try it. And just destroy some people online with it. So that is why I've built this team. Now, sorry for yesterday's video. It was a UFC 2 video with Harry. And it just corrupted. Sony Vegas, I've literally I downloaded it. And that was the first video I've ever edited with Sony Vegas. And it just it just corrupted. I don't know what it was. So I'm going to be editing this with Sony Vegas as well. So if the quality is worse or anything, let me know guys. And I can go back to using Lightworks. But it all depends on how this video turns out so i have been looking at a few tutorials on youtube because i really wanted to understand why it corrupted like it did and it took like four hours to render so i've changed my render settings i've done all of that so hopefully it comes out better and plus it makes the gameplay look better in my opinion it did yesterday when i was editing i don't know why it corrupted though when it rendered so hopefully it looks good and also guys i want to address my camera a lot of you guys have been picking up in the comments like obviously it's pretty shitty quality i can't lie but I literally haven't got the money to afford anything better at the moment. I don't record with a webcam. I record with a, like an actual camera. And then I sync up my audio. So I record with that. But obviously you guys know my birthday is coming up in literally two weeks. <laughs> That's crazy. In literally two weeks. And I've already had like all of my presents you could say. And stuff like that. Like my new computer. My new microphone. And stuff like that. So hopefully I'll be able to get a new webcam soon. But I'm not too sure. So let's just get onto this squad builder. I'm ranting on too much. So let's get into it in the goalkeeper position, guys. We go with this guy, Team of the Season Roberto. Now, I've only played two games with this card because previously I was using David De Gea for the other three games. I really didn't enjoy him. But then I've used this guy, and he's actually a beast. 8-7 diving, 98 reflexes, 6-4-4, and acrobatic. He's an absolute animal, guys. If you've got a Spanish defense and you can just put any Spanish goalkeeper in, put him in. Put him in. He's not as good as uh, Iron Man Lamatch Rainer, but he's definitely getting there. The first centre-back we go with is Indigo Martinez. I hope I've got his name right. Indigo Martinez. Sorry for that. Uh, 74 pace, 80 physical, 83 defending. He's a beast. One of the cheap centre-backs in the League of EVDA, which no one ever uses. And I don't understand why. He's an absolute monster. We'll move over to the right-hand side. And it's someone who was also in the League of EVDA. But we go with this Bundesliga card. It is Mark Bartra at Dortmund. 72 pace, 84 defending, 6-9 physical isn't the greatest. But you really don't notice in games. You've got two fast centre-backs. And realistically, that is all that you need. For the right-back position, we go with someone with a lot of pace. You guys know, he's my favourite right-back on the game. It's Dijkmaier. I have played 74 games with him on this account. I packed him. When did I even pack him? 2016. The third. Wow, I packed him so long ago. But this guy is an absolute monster, 88 pace, 74 physical, probably the best right back on the game in my opinion. And then to match him up, we go with the best left back on the game. You guys already know, we go with Jordi Alba. He's easily, whoa, he's easily the best left back, best full back just in general on the game. He's absolutely incredible. If you guys haven't tried him, I would be very shocked because he is a beast. Moving over to the first centre midfielder. I have to remember this right, I'm pretty sure it is Gund uh, no it's not Gundogan. We'll put Gundogan in, Gundogan goes on this side, but I have to, I've got to remember, I think it's a Cam, we have a Cam and a CDM, so the centre attacking mid is Hernanez, who we'll put in there, and then for the next player it's a CDM, and it is, here he is, Felipe Melo. So Felipe Melo, five games played, two goals, one assist, and he's been playing that defensive role, medium high work rate, six foot, 73 pace, 71 shooting, 74 dribbling, 74 passing. Just I can't I can't read out his stats. He's just incredible, guys. He's an absolute beast. And this was the first time that I had used him. I don't know why I haven't used him before because he is incredible. Moving over to Gunda one though. This is his upgraded card. Four star skills, four star week four. He was amazing. He's always going to be amazing. Just a very good overpowered midfielder. And then we go to Hernandez. I played 35 games with this card. 10 goals, 13 assists. 5-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, and he is the best free kick taker, in my opinion, on FIFA 16. He hasn't got the best stats, but I, I just te I'm really bad at free kicks, and he just tends to always have a go, like have a, have, a, have a go and get it on target. So he's just an absolute beast. And then at left forward, we go with the left winger, and obviously you guys are probably already guessed who it is. It is this guy, Felipe Anderson, 
Four star skills, four star week, four high low work rates, five games, one goal. But he did feel amazing at once. I was using him. I've used him all the way throughout FIFA 16, and he's just an absolute monster, guys. Moving over to the striker, we go with the most overpowered striker on the game. And it is the upgrade of Bama Yang. If you guys are building an overpowered team and this guy is not in that squad, I don't know what you're doing because he's a beast. Five games, five goals, two assists, high low work rate, six foot two. He's got everything and anything that you would need from a card on FIFA 16. And then at right forward, we go with the right wing and it is Mkhitaryan upgraded. Now he's at Man United, but you can still use his Dortmund card and get him on chemistry really easily. So if you guys want to use this card, but you don't want to have to pay and put him in a uh, in a, BBV, uh, a BBVA, I'm messing up so much today, guys. In a BPL squad, go and build this team and give him a try because he was a beast. Five games, three goals, two assists, five-star weak foot, four-star skills. This team is insane, guys. So let's get on to the highlights I did manage to get with this team. All right, guys. So moving over to the highlights, this team was incredible. I don't know what it was. It just felt absolutely amazing. I wasn't really concentrating while I was playing these games. I was in a chat with a few of my friends, and we were just messing about in the in the party. So I wasn't really concentrating. I came up for the first game against the Division One winner. He had the Division One kit, and obviously, you guys know. I think the highest division I've been in this year is Division Three. I'm not too sure, but. We ended up losing to this guy, but it was only 3-2 in a game. It could have gone either way. So that, for me, really set the tone for this team. I felt like this team was great. It could take on any team they came up against. And I was pretty much correct. This free kick here from Hernanez, I was so upset that that didn't end up going in. But Aubameyang was there to get the rebound and put us up one that I'm pretty sure. Or did he put us to draw in? I'm not too sure there. But we ended up getting a few rage quits whilst I was playing these games. This guy just scored an own goal there. I've left this in. Uh, I thought it was quite funny, so I've decided to leave this in. He passed it back, saw that I was attacking for the ball, and then just passed it into his own goal, which that's like that's comical gold right there. So this game was pretty easy. I think we came away with a 4-0 win, and I'm pretty sure this guy ended up rage quitting at 4-0 in the first half. And I think we had two rage quits during the games that I did play, and I lost two games, one against a Division 1 player, and I ended up losing like 9-1 to someone where I was literally just not concentrating at the time. And I basically gave up after it got to like 2-1. So that's sort of a, a bad thing about me, like not concentrating when playing FIFA. But I don't know if you guys do this, but when you're not concentrating, sometimes it's just a lot more fun. And obviously now it's coming to the end of FIFA 16. I'm not trying as hard as I was a few months ago to win at games and stuff like that. I'm just trying to bring content out for you guys. So we're coming up towards the end of the, end of the highlights as Mkhitaryan scores that absolutely beautiful goal there. I was so happy when that went in. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of the highlights. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like on it. If you have any video suggestions, please let me know of them in the comments down below. And as always, guys, make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace.